have a big book and uh, I use it to, you know, I don't know, I think with words. Like if I see words, it connects to my imagination. So if something I've thought about as I was preparing the scene, or as I'm preparing it, or as I'm thinking about it in the moment, um, in between setups, like if I look at something written, I would look, re-look at the script, it like enlivens it again, or makes my imagination move. So that's really the nerdy way of explaining why I always have a book with thick army that has every single script page I've ever done in it. And I have about 10 of them now. And um, if I, I thought of losing one is so scary. So like, I, like every time I like, leave the set and suddenly, a couple times I haven't had it when I go home. And it's like the biggest freak show. I don't, I'm freaking out, I'm totally freaking out. And like, Someone get their hands on it, I don't know what happens this season. There's no one. Yeah, no one like, generally hides it. No, does he? Oh, no. It's me. I do. I'm so glad you're here, because up until you arrived, everybody was humiliating. Giving me really weird sort of hacks. And, and then suddenly we get a little bit of serious, actually. Class. Thank you. Oh, I don't want to bring the serious. No, that's tough. No, I love it. It's the only time I get a little bit of sort of reflected glory. So. All right, let's go over here for a question. Okay, um, I'm Victoria, and my question is for both of y'all, and I want to know which episode of season seven was y'all's favorite to film, and why? I think it was when we went on our honeymoon. Apocalyptic <laughs> <laughs> honeymoon. Map it out. She 
just walked in and started talking, and, and I just went, oh, I just start filming it because it was the coolest thing. Because the night, it was beautiful. Cause it was absolutely the moment that she picks Rick up and, and you know galvanizes him for the for where we are now and for the rest of this season. So it's a beautiful thing, you know. And their relationship, I love. I just love. <laughs> So, you know, it's, it, it, it's that legacy from season one is that, you know, we built something with lots of very fine, a fine ensemble of theatre and film actors. And, and, you know, Denai comes from that legacy. I mean, so, you know when you walk into a scene with her that she's going to give everything. She's done the work and she just lays it down. So, it's like playing tennis, you know, you play with someone better than you, you, you play better. You know, and I think that we've got, we're fortunate in our ensemble we have a lot of people like that. Apart from Norman, he plays badminton. <laughs> <laughs> it's lethal. Lethal at badminton. There's something I've been wanting to ask you and, and I haven't had a chance even though I've done panels. You, you have this reputation for being a giving actor and a generous actor and a scene partner and you'll be there even when you to, uh, so the other person can react. How, how that developed and did you have it your whole career or what is it in your philosophy that made you like that? You know, I think he hatched from an egg, that's what I said. Yeah. He hatched from an egg, like there's like, it's like you're a little too perfect. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't, I, you know, I think, I've been on sets where you are doing your own thing and it's not as fun. It's just not as fun. And you, you, I, you the, everybody is accomplished <laughs> as an actor and you can rehearse in your hotel room and you go onto a film set. But it's not as good as if you're reacting to a real human being that's going to surprise you. You know, that's the, the fun bit for me, acting, is when you lose yourself in a scene with another actor and you don't know what's happened. And you can only do that by listening to the other actor. You can't do it by manufacturing it. I'm, I mean, I'm not a clever enough actor to do tricks. I don't believe in it. It's not what I want to do. I want to tell stories with my heart, you know. I, I like the movies that transcend the screen, that you feel things, that you get impact. And, and I think the only way you do that really, truly, is by being absolutely present in a scene. You, acting is listening. It's not doing something. You know, it's listening, I think. And, uh, and, and, and we just set up a precedent you know, on this show. We built this little utopian dream. You know, and, and, and sometimes we hit it, sometimes we miss it, but more than more, Often than not, we get some really interesting surprises. Yeah, I think it's so it's, it's so awesome. Like as someone who came into the show after it was very established, like that was so attractive to me because you don't it can't be faked, you know. And so watching it from the outside, I could feel that. I could feel that there was this very powerful ensemble of artists who were in pursuit of truth and and resonance and really giving themselves to it. Watching him and John and Sarah, and, you know. No, the gentleman who played Dale, um, Jeffrey. Uh, there's just so many astounding, there's so much astounding work going on that you, you can just see it as an actor. You're like, you know, I remember watching it, and, and um, I haven't watched it because I don't like watching scary stuff. And so I haven't watched it. And, um, oh, you didn't know that. Um, but um, I, I knew it was great. It just, Scary, scary stuff. Like my imagination goes crazy at night, and I'm thinking about it, and I can't sleep, and I hate that. So I was like, I'm not watching the show. Then I got the audition. I was like, I gotta watch the show. And um, I sat and I watched it, and I was like, I had this moment, um, uh, and it's interesting as an actor because you know, you know, from theater, you're from a different realm of acting, and you watch television sometimes, and you're like, do I want to give years of my life to that TV show or that TV show? And you think about it, yeah. There's there are benefits, but they're also you also think about the, the artistic payoff or the artistic experience you might have or not have. Um, so I, I've been a little I've been a little picky with that, not that I've had many pickings, but I've been a little picky about where I would put my energy for seven years. And I watched this and I remember just having this moment in my apartment and I was watching it, watching it and I just had this moment where I was like, I want to be a part of this. Like it just came out my mouth. And it was so about I was watching I was watching him and John. And there was just something so powerful about just seeing the work. And it was resonant, it was powerful, they were in it, they were in it 110%. And you just, you, I love that, I love that intensity and that power to what they, you know, what him and, 
and those amazing actors set up. So every actor who comes on the show doesn't want to leave, just doesn't always wants to be a part of it because it feels so artistically satisfying. And it's really what they set up at the beginning. It was humble, it was about the work, and it was about listening and, and living in something real and rich. So thank you to you for that. Thank you. 